this evening he will be um, the last talk <coughs> for this series of Mudita. And we have, from tomorrow we have a break for about three or four days and then we start Compassion Karuna. <coughs> for this evening, um, the focus will be the mudita practice and the beauty of ordinariness. The beauty of ordinariness means <clears throat> we usually don't see the beauty of anything so ordinary. <clears throat> if things are not exciting, we don't think uh, there's happiness either. We don't actually appreciate it. So things have to be so-called special. Okay? And <clears throat> it has to be unusual. Then that would um, that would receive our attention. We would notice that. Otherwise, things <clears throat> um, just pass without being registered in our mind. A special meal, for example. A special day, which is birthday, like that. And for all our couples, or married people, um, the day of their wedding, that sort of thing, is a special day for them. It's a special day. They think about special day. <clears throat> but how many special days we can afford in a month or in a year? How many special days we can afford? It's very tiring to afford a special day is costly as well. A special dress, a special form of what a special <clears throat> design, special color, special fashion, brand. Everything is very costly. Not only that they are costly, they cannot sustain the happiness they create. Like Dr. Rick Hansen pointed out the other day in his lecture, in his 2013 lecture of uh, lecture on hardwiring happiness. Human beings are very good creating good experience, <clears throat> but we are not very good at uh, sustaining those good experiences. The reason is we are all addicted to excitement, something special. We're addicted to that. We're addicted to that at the expense of overlooking anything ordinary. But the majority of our lives is full of ordinary things, ordinary moments, ordinary people. From morning, the time we wake up until the, day, the time we go to bed, we do things very ordinary and very rep repetitive. We get up, we wash ourselves, we take care of our basic physical needs, we eat, we brush our teeth, we cook, we eat, we brush our teeth, we 
clean. And we do the chore, house chore, monastery chore. And if you go to work, your work is usually not exciting. It's exciting only at a certain point. As a student, <coughs> maybe when you graduate, as an author, maybe when you publish, when you get published. But before that, day in and day out, <coughs> you put in a lot of effort. And they are usually ordinary. So this evening, <coughs> I'm going to be um, guiding you okay, to focus on ordinary things in life from early in the morning up to the time you go to bed, including, say, you walk up to this meditation hall, each walk, and from here you go back to your room Or when you drink water, when you have a shower, when you go to the library, when you do your work. Just try to run through slowly, like a slow motion of your daily routine. Today and then go back to yesterday this week and go back to last week, this month and go back to last month. By doing so, if you discover disinterest, then bring in mindfulness to work on that disinterest because disinterest is a form of rejection. A form of rejection. It has is uh, also dosa. <clears throat> it's a form of um, a when you open your computers you are trying to observe you are trying to find mutita in that and through the pages that you have written. The mind is usually a few steps ahead of real time. It usually rejects the present moment, especially when If you like, you can start the way we, we have been doing for the last, today is the ninth, in terms of um, um, life teaching. But in terms of <clears throat> practice, you know, this is the tenth day, because we didn't tell it us one day. then you also move to the next person, 
the next group, which is、um, the people close to you, especially those who are still alive. Look at how their life is ordinary. That they go through life. If you can find joy in that, if you can appreciate that, then you wouldn't need you wouldn't need anything anymore to make you happy. Happiness is here and now. In anything and everything that is ordinary. Of course, start with breathing in and out, slow and gentle, just to set it down. Observe: Is there any tension in the body around, say, in the muscles around your head, around your forehead, around your eyes, your cheeks, your chin? If there is any. And tension. Then recognize those tensions. Okay. The <clears throat> the first day we allow ourselves to feel moody. In things we feel excited about, but as we progress, now it's time to dig deeper into our. Life and the life of the people close to us. And the life of the people we consider to be our colleagues, our classmates. So we spend most of the time doing this for this evening. You will have about thirty-five <clears throat> minutes if you start practicing now. I'll be speaking in Burmese now. ทีนี้เนี่ยมูดิดังเดียวพอมีอะไรแล้วฉันจะเนี่ยบูดังเดียวตัวมันมูดิดังเดียวลิจินละเสียงยาสีบาบีอาการเรื่องอะไรเราคุยกันทีนี้ทีนี้ดีกว่าโฟกัสโลกมาก第一个爱用菜嘛个，不话也，嗯，他们啊开单里的，他们啊钱里的哦，只比如目的达不好办，他个啊开开什么啊路的嘛不好办，旁边的人说了。ไงก็เรียนทราบไปแล้วสิ่งเราชอบมุมมาไปเพียงเฉยมุกสุดแล้วมันติดจับเราทุกอย่างก็เลยเพียงเฉยเสียก้าวไม่สิ่งเรื่องการเฮ้ยฮะสักไอ้ที่เราเปลี่ยนมาก็เลยเพียงเฉยเนี่ยเราใส่ทำมาขันมาแล้วเราชอบมุมมาไปเนี่ยเดี๋ยวเราเงี้ยเลย四千里的一里路，三千里路所以，哎呀，看，爸妈们出家让我都听不了，爸妈们出，爸妈们表现不秀，爸妈，力量上也不秀，口才上也不秀，哎，他们有点偏僻，这老干了，哎，这路偏僻，不都是你？这一路下不看，谁几百的，得谁几的，变来变来，谁几的虽然，嗯
ไอ้ลูกเหล่าชาเสียเข้าในอวสาติโตสาเสียติโตอินโฟเมชันอติโตแลกไกน์โฟอติโตกาอติโตเนียอติโตไอ้เรื่องนี้อติอติเนียปล